Hello viewers, so today welcome to our maths lesson. So we want to work out a challenge on how far you understand the basic mathematics. So if we have three challenge, so make sure you watch up to the end because the first challenge already we have here. So the main game here is to work out the maths problem. Pause the video, work out first, then comment on the comment section. Then from there, we shall work it out together. So the first challenge is 30 plus 30 multiplied by 0 plus 5. So I hope you've worked out the challenge and you've commented below. So let me mark the answers for those who got it right. So if you happen to get your answer as 35, then congratulations, you've worked it on the right way. So if you didn't get 35, so this one was the procedure that you're supposed to follow. So the first thing that you did, you, some people may, may have made a mistake of doing is by working out 30 plus 30. Then when you work out 30 plus 30, you find that the answer is 60. Then here, then from there multiply by 0. Then you multiply by 0 plus 5. Then uh, here the results shall be 60. This one is 60 multiplied by 0 is 0. Then 0 plus 5 is 5. So... I know a lot, quite a number of people might have got 5, so if you happens to get 5, then you didn't work it out properly. So here is the best solution, so let's work it out very fast. So the best solution is we had 30 plus 30 multiplied by 0 plus 5. So the first step that you're going to work out, we're going to work out the part for the, for the multiplication, this part now. So any time that you're working out these different operations, start with the most common part, that is division, if in case there's no bracket. So in this case now we shall have 30 plus, when you work out 30 multiplied by 0, you shall have 0, then plus 5. So when you work out this one, we shall have 30 plus 0 is, is 30, then 30 plus 5 is 35. So that's why I say that those who got 35 got the correct answer. So let's move to the second challenge. So let's be up to the up to the last challenge. So this one is the second challenge. So we have 90. So we have 90 divided by 90 plus 1. Uh, 90 divided by 90 plus 9 minus 1. So comment with the answer below, down below on the comment section. So just say part B, the answer is this one. So let's check those who understand the basic mathematics. So remember, don't use the calculator. <coughs> I hope now you are done. So let me shout out the answer. So part B, the answer is 9. So if you got the answer as 9, well done. Congratulations. You really understand the basic mathematics and keep it up. So if you have different views on how you work it out, so let's kick start with the solution. So... Uh, the solution to this maths problem, this one is the first thing. We have 90 divided by 90 plus 9 minus 1. So what's the first step? The first step is not to work out 9 minus 1 or 90 plus 9. The first step is to work out 90 divided by 9, which in case, which in turn now we shall get as 10. So we shall have our 10 there. So after having 10, now we shall have uh, 10 plus 9 minus 1. So in this case, 10 plus 9, here we shall have uh, 90 divided by 90, I mean. So here there is areas where some might have made a mistake. Yes, they might have confused this one. So here we have 90 divided by 90. So this one was wrong. So don't make this mistake. So 90 divided by 90, we have 1 here. So 1 plus 9 minus 1. So 1 plus 9 is 10. So 10 minus 1, our correct answer is, is 9. So the main idea of this, so always start with the division. So don't mistake this 90 as 9, as in this case, where, where now you can say it is 90 divided by 9, which is 10. It's, it's 90. So 90 divided by 90 is 1. Then plus 9, which is 10 minus 1, then the answer is, is 9. So let's move to the last challenge. So if you work out the last challenge, then you are a hero. So this, is the, this one is the last challenge that I want us to work out. So we have 55 plus 55 multiplied by 0, multiplied by 1, 
multiply by zero. Comment with your answers on the comment section. Layer C, just write part C is this particular answer. So I believe you've worked it out. So let me shout out the answer. So the answer for part C is 55. Those who got 55 worked it in a nice way. So let's do it very fast. This one is the solution to this mathematics problem. So this, in this case, we're going to start with this part. That is the multiplication. So all of these are multiplication. Like here we have 0. Multiply by 0 uh, times 1 times 0. So in this case, what's the answer? So in this case, we're going to start multiplying with which part? So let's handle this part first. So here now we shall have 55, then plus. So 55 multiplied by 0. The answer is 0. So in this case, we shall have 0. So 0 multiplied by 1, then multiply by 0 again. Okay. So our next part is to work out this multiplication sign. So in this case here we are having 55. Then 55 plus. So 0 multiplied by 1 is 0. Then multiply by 0 again. So what is our next step? So our next step is to work out the last multiplication sign. That is now 55 plus. So 0 multiplied by 0. We have 0. So how do you work out the final answer? So the final answer we just get from having 55 plus 0. And 55 plus nothing, the answer still remains to be 55. So it means that 55 is the correct answer. So that one was our major challenge to this particular problem. That's why I said if you get 55, it means that you are well with the basic mathematics. So... The, the key thing to this basic mathematics, first what you need to know is always take this into consideration. If you want to get them, we have our key thing that is usually called the, the board mass. So what is this board mass in full? So this one is what I want to show you as you wind up. So B always stands for the bracket. So you should always work out the numbers inside the bracket. Then O stands for O. D stands for the division sign. So always work out the division sign. Then M stands for the multiplication sign. After having the multiplication sign, then A stands for the addition. Then finally, we have S that stands for the subtraction. So that is how they are. So if you, if you are given a problem to work out, if in case you've checked that the bracket is not present, then move to of. If of is not present, then work out the division. If division is not present, move to multiplication, then finally to addition, then finally to the subtraction. But don't just first work it out without checking all those areas. So my name was Teacher John, so let me stop there and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.